Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, to stay revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We are coming once again from yet another exclusive segment inside the Word of God. And we're joined by one of the mysteries and revelations disciples in the just ended segment where the devil's holidays were exposed and we were touching on matters that regard the holidays whether you call them the festive or whatsoever holidays how they are not falling in line with the principles of god and today I want to enter into yet another controversial segment but today in this segment we are joined by yet another disciple and this time a female disciple of mysteries and revelations and we are joined by Russian mysteries and revelations greetings Russian mysteries and revelations greetings men of god thank you very much we are meeting once again in this presentation and today we want to focus on the devil's fashion we are coming from the devil's holidays where we were exposing quite a number of negativities that are associated with the holidays do you think the holidays have any significance to our lord jesus christ do you think the holidays have any significance to our lord jesus christ no yes that's exactly the accurate answer the holidays don't have any significance to our lord jesus christ and uh, today we want to focus on the devil's fashion obviously when we are focusing on the devil's fashion we are also focusing on the trends the modest fashion not only are we focusing on the fashion it means if you are if we are going to dwell inside the fashion we are also going to be touching on the makeup because the makeup is part of fashion right yes 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 very true. i believe that you personally you studied is it not six months as a hairdresser yes yes how many months did you study six months to college six months attachment then two months to college and, then graduated. and you actually graduated yes. right so it means i have the right disciple to create a dialogue and remember you just don't create a dialogue for the sake of just creating a dialogue we want to produce a teaching we want the holy spirit to produce a teaching out of this dialogue yes. now you started six months and inside those six months just in brief just in brief as a hairdresser what were you studying about uh we do practical and we do theory so your whole ideology as a hairdresser is to beautify people yes and to how to handle someone okay okay that is now in the area of your office i was referring to the area of impression anyway let us get into today's presentation i believe you have a question that you need to ask concerning fishing and remember we need to understand the way the fault is inside our fishing but though i have a lot that i need to dwell inside of to expose that this fashion is no longer fashion that is positive i realize that i need to give in so that i hear from your questions what is your mind okay i have a question man of god what is the mission of fashion the mission of fashion Indeed, I, I, I do believe that inside your question, in other words, you have admitted that fashion has got a mission, right? Yes, yes. Yes. 
So, in other words, you, you are asking, what is the real intended purpose of a fashion? Fashion is supposed to be like flowers. We have the red roses, we have different colors of flowers. Fashion is supposed to create uniqueness. Fashion is supposed to brighten up people. And the fashion is not just for the sake of covering the body. What I believe about fashion according to God's inspiration is that fashion is supposed to beautify us outwardly. Though the beauty that is required by God from humanity is not a beauty that is practical. It is beauty that should start from within. So, to answer your question on the mission of fashion, when you're asking what is the mission of fashion, you need to elaborate deeper. You need to elaborate deeper which mission you are talking about. Maybe there might be something that you just want to add in your questions. Oh, okay. Is there any influence of the devil in fashion? Is there any influence of the devil in fashion? Okay. So th this is where you are coming from when you say it. What is the mission of fashion? Yes. You are simply trying to say what is the influence or is there any influence of the devil inside yes. fashion? Yes, yes. I will not beat up about the bush. There is a higher level of influence not just a little influence, a higher level of influence inside the fashion trends which are being inspired by the devil. In actual fact, I, I, I'm seeing little of influence from God when it comes to fashion. I'm seeing little of what God intended when it comes to fashion. I'm seeing the devil's influence in fashion. And before you even ask me why I should explain myself, because I'm living in a world whereby the trends of fashion, they are being designed and they are being detected by the devil himself. You see it with the way that even married women are dressing. I just feel like wanting to touch first on the issue of married women. There's, there's a way that a married woman is supposed to dress, knowing that this is now a married woman which causes other men that are yet to marry or other married men that are already married to know that this woman is a decent, dignified woman who is now married, a, a woman who's coming from a household of values. But this is not what we are seeing. Then we touch on the issue of the fashion of the young girls, the teenagers. This is why you, do you realize that this is why we have a higher number of rape cases these days? Yes, yes, yes. Even in the church. Yes, even in the church, like what you're saying. Because what will be happening is that I believe that a girl does not just get raped without the rapist being seduced. I'm not defending any rapist, but I'm just saying the high rate of rape cases is being amplified by the way that women are dressing. And I touched on the issue to do with the married women in particular. And I'm touching overall, even with the teenage girls. You, you even wonder how a child, a daughter, walks out of a house. I, when I'm walking, in the middle of the street, sometimes I question myself, are, are, are these children, are these teenagers coming from homes where you actually have parents? And you realize they are coming from homes where they are parents. And the only conclusion that I give myself is that they are coming under roofs that have got demonic parental guidance. And when you're talking about demon, demonic parental guidance, we are obviously talking about a misguided 
parenthood whereby the parent is not born again. He, he himself or herself usually is the mother. If she can't realize that her daughter is not dressing properly, it means herself, if you are going to meet the mother, you are going to see the same type of dressing. And I know there are many people that would want to dispute about what I really mean. When I'm talking about the issue of uh, not dressing properly, you touched on the issue of those that are not dressing properly in church, right? Yes. 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 There is improper dressing even in church, which can distract a weak pastor, which can distract a weak pastor not to preach properly on the pulpit. Okay. If you're going to have someone in the praise and worship, who's singing until she's shedding tears, but she's not dressed here properly. She's got the long nails, eyelashes, foundations, so that get eroded as the tears come down and they mess up with uh, whatever she's wearing. You won't even need the scriptures to, to, to inform you or to alert you that uh, this is the devil's fashion. And you, you do agree that makeup falls under fashion, right? Yes. yes. Since you are a qualified hairdresser, besides this spiritual calling. So, the influence of the devil is there indeed in fashion. It is now widespread all over. And it is no longer a, a, a matter that needs to be questioned. Though it is is allowed to be questioned but i'm simply trying to say it is now something that is very evident it is no longer something that we can debate about because it is something that is evident in front of our eyes you see someone wearing what you call that leggings yes checkings yes. yes okay i, I know I, i'm a man i don't wear that stuff so you are the one who's supposed to know but i said they are leggings and what checkings. and checkings okay so all right so i'm saying The leggings are the tight, those ones that look like tight pulling socks, right? Yes. Are they supposed to be worn? How, how are they supposed to be worn? Are you supposed to be wearing them inside or outside? Even outside, but you you need to... You have something, something, another dress that covers, that yes. partly covers. Yes, bums, that covers bums. Not just the bums, because you, oh, those... The front. The front, because... You now have other women that are wearing those tights. Mm -hmm. And everything inside mm -hmm. is shaping. Yes, yes. The bums are shaping. And you can see that this is not just dressing. This kind of dressing has got a mission. Like what we said in the beginning. It has got a mission. Yes, yes. And this kind of dressing, you can tell that this type of dressing has got an impression. Mm -hmm. You hear people talking about a just to impress and you wonder who they are impressing are they impressing god or impressing the devil mm -hmm. it's evident that they are impressing the devil from the way that they are dressing okay. Uh, okay so as christians how then should we dress as christians how then should we dress as christians yes. i believe that question can answer itself from the way that one is dressed I know you, you need an explanation of how you should dress as Christians. I believe uh, this is the answer that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. The moment that Adam and Eve realized that they were naked in the garden, they did not mind how they were dressing. They, they didn't mind how they were undressed. Yes. They minded about covering their bodies. Yes. So I think the fair answer that I can actually give about how Christians should dress is that Christians should cover their whole bodies okay. so that we can have a difference between a Christian and a non-believer okay. an unbeliever in the world okay. and when I'm saying Christians should just cover their bodies I'm, I'm not trying to say Christians must not dress in a certain in a certain way to impress like I said this is a dressing that impresses the devil this is why I labeled it as the devil's fashion. It also means that there is an impression of dressing that also comes from God. There is an impression of dressing that is inspired by the Holy Spirit, whereby you can actually tell when a certain particular person is dressed that this person 
is dressed according to the impression of the Holy Spirit, and He is impressing our Lord Jesus Christ. So, again, like I said, the question that you have asked me about how we should dress as Christians is not a question that can be answered by words. Even if I'm going to explain this from morning to evening, mm -hmm. when you just walk out there, you can tell that this person is not dressing as a Christian. If you are going to have another woman who dresses in a way that ends up attracting your husband, you as a woman, you have came across women that are not properly dressed, whom you can tell that we should change direction and maybe by that very moment you'll be working with your husband. What would you have seen? Because that people didn't dress properly. Yes. That person or those people would not be dressing properly, right? Yes. So, like I said, from your confession, that people or those people or that person would not be dressing properly. It means it's evident to you even as a woman that there are other women that are not dressing properly. Yes. And it's not an issue to, to do with a woman who is to debate with her husband before she leaves home so that she knows how she's supposed to dress. Even even makeup, you as a hairdresser, there is an amount of makeup that is supposed to be applied in the, a way that is supposed to be presented by the, that makeup that is applied. Is there any kind of makeup that you can say this makeup has been applied too much? Yes, 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 very true. How do you define a makeup that has been applied too much? Someone can put two big lashes. Two big lashes, eyelashes. Yes, yes. And the foundation can can it be overdone? Can it be put, say it, this foundation is too much? Yes, yes. Some are putting very too much, too much. It will be bright. Yes. And knowing that he, those chemicals are actually aggressive against the skin, the women, they continue applying the makeup as if they are competing. Even men and women, they are applying the bleaching creams. It's part of fashion, I know. Mm -hmm. They are applying the bleaching creams. And it, most women that have been interviewed about these bleaching creams, they actually know that they are not good for the skin, but they continue applying. It's suicidal. It's a suicidal demon because someone actually knows that this bleaching cream is going to damage me. I watched one interview, not just one interview, of many women that have accepted and admitted that the bleaching creams are not good for them, but they continue applying them. Do you realize that this is demonic? Yes, very in as much as you as a hairdresser, you know that there are chemicals that can actually injure the scalp, right? Yes, yes. And, and how do you know that this chemical can burn the scalp? Even those people they are, that they are selling, they even not... They notify. Yes. They notify that these chemicals are dangerous. Are dangerous, yes. Okay. But they selling it. Still, they are selling those for the sake of money. Maybe that the demon of fashion it begins even from the producer yes. to the consumer who represents the one that is going to weigh or that is going to apply the creams or that is going to weigh those eyelashes. Mm -hmm. So it's a chain. Okay, men of God. What do people mean by dressed to kill? Dressed to kill. It means they want to kill us. <laughs> yes, it means they want to kill us. <laughs> kill who? Yeah, us as men. Okay. They, they want to kill us. They, they, <laughs> before we even talk about them killing us as men, it means... Why should we want to interpret what they are trying to say? If they are dressing to kill, it means they want to kill us. In the, in the way that they are killing us. They are killing us psychologically. They are killing us emotionally. But they are not just killing us physically. They are killing us inwardly, spiritually. Do you realize that the way women are dressing, 
is is sending many men to hell. Yes, very true. Yes, even a man didn't want to fornicate. He end up. He ends up fornicating. Yes. Even if a man didn't want to commit a tell time. Yes. I was talked about a, a certain woman who ended up sleeping her husband while the husband was driving because the husband almost got in, into an accident while he's peeping at a woman who was walking on the pavement. Instead of him concentrating on driving, it means the man was being killed inside. If this man had got involved in, in, in an accident, Whose fault was it? The woman, yes. obviously, mm -hmm. was walking on the street pavement. But when the, has, uh, when the accident happens, this woman is not going to be aware that she is involved. Yes. She's part of that accident. Because this man was supposed not to be distracted by this type of dressing that mm. she was doing. Okay. Is dressing defined by cultures? Yes. Obviously, dressing does not only have trends whereby you have a certain type of dress code taking over, maybe in Africa, or a certain type of dress code taking over in America, those will be trends. Dressing has got cultures. Now the problem is that we are trying to bring the white culture here in Africa. To them, when they are dressing, when they are, when they are walking in the street with a bikini, it, it doesn't affect them because it's their culture. It, it's just like when Adam and Eve were naked in the garden. They were not affected because it was normal to them. It was normal to them. But now, the issue to do with the cultures is a certain trend in a certain region, a certain fashion, a certain formation, a certain code in a certain province. The problem is that we are trying to adopt cultures of dressing that don't apply in our own region or in our own continent or nation or city. You understand what I'm saying? Therefore, Bring the culture of dressing that is an American, you bring it to Zimbabwe. The cases of rape will continue increasing. Yes. And you continue blaming many entities, the women. Mm -hmm. true. So, there is a discipline that is required, not just in dressing, but we are not saying people are not, suppo are not supposed to have makeup. People are supposed to have makeup, but the makeup is supposed to be decent. Yes. Everything should be decent. Everything should be presentable before our Lord Jesus Christ. Children of God, I guess we have exhausted all the questions that Russia had and hoping that all those that are dressing, you are dressing to impress relevantly according to the Spirit of God and you are not dressing to kill, to kill men out there. You are not dressing to damage the world. We are not dressing to cause a negative impact in the name of Jesus.